Hi guys, um, I've just arrived at Riga Airport here in Latvia and um, I, it's very late so I decided that I'm not going to go into the city centre yet. What I'm going to do is I'm going to stay here uh, because it's quite late, you know. And if I look around, it is completely empty. And there is a coffee machine, which is great because I love coffee. And I'm just about to do a test run of uh, Walk My Dog. Tomorrow morning, I'm good to go. So from the airport, I took a bus to the center of Riga, which cost about one euro. Uh, it's about six o'clock in the morning here. Uh, so it's very, very quiet. Lots of long, narrow streets. Uh, and it's actually very nice. Yeah. It's also very quiet. There's not a lot of people walking about. It's a very quiet, very peaceful here. Yeah, it is about half past six in the morning. I'm going to go this way. This actually looks like little Copenhagen. It makes me think about Copenhagen. There's like so many of these little side streets. Uh, this place would be really, really brilliant in the evenings. It's full of restaurants and cafes. All the streets are cobblestone, so it's not very good with my skateboard. But it's so, so, so beautiful here. Okay, guys, um, I've just been to a supermarket there around the corner. And I thought I'd share with you exactly what I got. You can see I bought myself a tin of beans. I bought two bars of chocolate. I bought two bananas. I bought some tea. I got some milk and bread. Uh, all of that came to about three euros. You know, it's pretty cool. And I bought myself a flick knife, costs about five euros, you know. I need this for whenever I go camping. I couldn't take one on the plane with me. Uh, so I'm gonna sit here now, uh, finish my breakfast, and then I'm going to look for a bus, and I think I'm going north uh, along the coast. So yeah, things can change, see what happens. I just got off two buses there and uh, I think I'm around 80 kilometers north of Riga and as you can see I'm in the complete wilderness but apparently the beach is two kilometers that way and if I'm correct there's a campsite there so I'm going to go and see what the crack is uh, but yeah complete wilderness yeah lovely now I'm going for a walk. Two kilometers. Yeah. Um, 
I went to the campsite where I said I was going to go and uh, he had a sign saying 10 euros at the door but when I went up and asked he said no it's 15 euros and uh, yeah I'm not the richest person in the world as I've already said like you know so I had to leave but look where I am I've got a beach to myself uh, there's a campsite up here and they also say 10 euros on their sign so I'm going to go up and ask them if I can stay there you know uh, but if they say yes, I've got this whole beach to myself, you know. If they say no, I will ask them if I can camp on the beach for free. <laughs> Beautiful. When you're doing these kind of journeys, um, the day of the week and the time of the day isn't really important. Um, but what is really important is how much sunlight you have left. You know, if you're camping, wild camping in forests and things like that, it's really, really important. And there's a very, very simple method to check this. Um, what you do, you go four fingers. Fully stretch your arm. And put your hand out to the horizon, where the sun's going to go down. Every four fingers represents one hour. So what you do is you count it per hand. You go... One hour, two hours, three hours. Uh, Twelve fingers is three hours. And that tells me then that I've got three hours of sunlight left. And when you learn the time of sundown in a country, you can actually learn to tell the time from the sun. Interesting. Yeah. I went down to the local shop there uh, just to pick up a few small things and I thought I'd treat myself tonight to a few beer and of course like because I'm in Latvia it's got to be Latvian beer uh, this beer here Chesu it cost me 59 cents and it is 4.7 percent yeah uh, it's quite nice yeah this one here is let me check it's five percent and it costs 85 cents yeah that's a cheap drink cheers guys slantia It's now Saturday and what I've decided to do is I'm going to go to the local pub and see what's happening up there. Uh, I also need to charge my telephone and tablet of course. Uh, but yeah, apart from a few little uh, farmhouses, it's actually the complete wilderness. And now is the sea, if you can see it. Uh, Camping is prohibited everywhere, uh, and apparently the locals actually like it. Uh, there are some places, of course, that they tell you that it's private property, so these are the places that you wouldn't actually camp. If you like my videos, uh, and would like to support my journey, I've put a link in the description for Buy Me A Coffee. Uh, I would be very, very grateful because uh, my world is on a shoestring budget. I don't really have very much money. Uh, thank you very much. Got to the local pub and got a beer. Uh, five euros. It's pretty nice. Yeah. I've just come back from the pub there and it's been raining for the last while. Uh, yeah, it's pretty miserable looking at the minute. Apart from the beach, it looks really, really nice. I've got a little campfire going there and I've got my beans cooking. My dinner will be ready in the next five or ten minutes. Slauncha! <coughs> Welcome to my house. Um, I'm just, uh, I've just got my dinner ready and I thought I'd show you what I've got. Ugh. 
I've got my beans. Ow! They're hot. I picked up some bread in the shop. Looks tasty. And I've got some cheese. I got some raisins. Banana. Happy chocolate. I've got some biscuits. And I've got some milk. I stole some toilet rolls from the toilets because I had a puddle of water in my tent because of the rain. And yeah, it'll soak it all up. Easy buns. Bon appetit! I just woke up there, it's about half past four in the morning. Um, it's pretty cold. Um, but I, I want to show you the view I have from my tent. What a view! Um, I've also decided to drink the last of my beer because it's pretty heavy and I can't really travel with it. But gee, oh, it's Baltic up here. Oh. Okay. So I've just made my way across the Latvian border there. Uh, you can see Latvia down there. If you can see the bus, that's the bus I'm waiting on. And I'm going this way. This is Estonia. Uh, the bus is going to a place called Pernu or Perno or something like that. I'll figure it out when the bus comes. What a lovely, lovely day. Hey guys, thank you for watching my video. Uh, don't forget to give me a like and a subscribe. I will also put a link in the description for a book that I have recently published. It's about the journeys that I've taken over the last few years and some good stories inside it. Take a look. Take care guys.